Hi, Statesman Nation. Uh, hope everyone's had a great summer. Uh, speaking of summer, uh, kind of get a, got away from us a little bit here. Had an opportunity to uh, uh, bring on uh, Coach North early in the summer. And again, time got, got away from us and we got busy. So now we are finally introducing our new softball coach, uh, Laura North. Uh, we're also uh, joined today by Nick Rule, our athletics director. So before we get to Coach North, uh, we're gonna talk to Nick a little bit. Um, kind of go through the, the whole process of how we got to where we are, how we uh, landed on uh, Coach North. So I'll let you take it away for a little bit. Yeah, no, I mean, we're really excited. I think that uh, there's just a lot of opportunity with the direction we're going here. And um, it was different than other hirings that we've gone through because you know, Coach Christner, who'd been here for a really long time, announced his retirement, and we had months to plan. And, you know, it's there was a lot of unique things as far as this process is because you know, I don't think – People don't necessarily know this and maybe don't get a chance to appreciate it as much, but the world of college athletics, no matter, even though it's big, is very small. So we're very interconnected. We, mm -hmm. you know, and so I've been following Coach North for years since she was at uh, Indian Hills and then when she, when she was uh, at Upper Iowa and you know, I knew she lived in the area. Yep. And um, so, you know, immediately when we found out of the retirement and that we were going to be looking for a coach going into this season, uh, we posted the job and really I was hoping that she would apply because you know, she just started up her Iowa in the, in the fall. And so we hadn't really gone through a full recruitment process yet. And so um, we were just excited to see, you know, her application come through. And yep. um, uh, Alicia Rabbit and I, Alicia's our associate AD. We just, it was something we talked about very early on. We're talking about her. And um, as we started going through the process and just like what we were looking for as far as culture uh, within our department, but also within that program, um, there was just a lot of commonality and it was easy. I remember our first conversation, it was just so easy. It was just like, yep. okay. And Alicia and I talked afterwards, like, you know, she, she could really fit here. Um, and so it was just different. It wasn't super rushed. Uh, in fact, it was kind of, it, it was kind of odd the feeling because it wasn't rushed. Like yep. we wanted to rush, um, but we had to slow down and, um, and, and we landed where we needed to be. And, she, you know, she got here, as we got going in the summer and uh, you know, there's just so much to do in the summer. You, you met with the team like their last day here and um, and then obviously just getting things prepped and ready to go. So we're just gonna be more excited about yeah. what she brings to the table. Um, obviously, you know, a strong leader, uh, a great background um, in the sport tied to the community yeah. and Morosky's college team, like we're really proud of that. And so she has just a very ingrained in the community. So we're, we're I mean, it feels like we just want softball to happen so quick, but we got a lot of other things to get through yeah. until then. <laughs> right. But uh, I think there's a lot of excitement in the program too. So. Yeah, definitely. All right, coach. Um, a lot of nice words from the new boss and everything. So let's uh, back it up for you. Um, what, I guess, when it became available, what drew you to William Penn and, and the job offering? Well, like Nick had said, you know, I've lived here and I've, you know, I've been in Oskaloosa for 20 years, so I've kind of been an outsider looking into the program and, um, you know, always had eyes on it. When I was at Indian Hills, you know, we always played in the fall and I think played in the spring with JV and stuff. So I've known Coach Christner for, you know, 20 years. And um, so just been familiar with the program. And um, so, yeah, I was surprised when the job opened up because, you know, Coach Christner, those guys, you think they're going to coach forever and right. ever and ever. So. Um, you know, I think after the job was posted for, you know, five minutes, my husband and I were texting and, um, it, you know, just an opportunity to be able to be home, um, and, and, um, be in Oskaloosa was, was really important to me and, sure. um, really exciting. And then just with the changes and the, like the awesome things that have been happening around, um, the school and, um, especially the athletic department, um, you know, I, I said, I want to ask some questions. And, um, you know, like I said, from the outside looking in, there was a lot of excitement and um, things happening. And so I really wanted to um, talk to Nick and ask those questions. And um, and then after talking to him and Alicia, it was just, um, I want to be a part of it. So yeah. I want to be a part of all the awesome stuff that's going on here. Yeah, obviously bittersweet for you. I mean, you had only been up at Upper Iowa a year. Mm -hmm. um, so just talk about talk about that a little bit. I mean, it wasn't an yeah. easy decision for you. No, it was not um, because I had been out of coaching um, for four years, and um, you know it was a hard decision for me to go back into coaching, right. um, and it was it was challenging with the commute, and um, you know we started to build things um, at Upper Iowa, mm -hmm. and um, and I always pride myself on my relationships with um, 
with the young women that I coach. And so it was extremely hard to make the decision um, because we, even though I was only there for less than a year, just the relationships that we had built um, with my staff and the and the team and the families um, and the recruits coming in. Um, so it, it was very difficult. You know, I, I didn't get a lot of sleep those last mm -hmm. couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, um, um, and so just taking care of, of them, taking care of the team up there and, and all of their hearts and, um, you know, the recruits that I had built relationships with. And um, it, was, it was really difficult um, leaving that job. Um, and so, um, but, you know, it was also exciting because um, I know I can do the same thing here. Right, right. Um, let's uh, talk about the first, again, probably would have been a normal thing to uh, you know talk about, you know, the first 30, 60, 90 days, what's it, what's it look like? Well, now you know what it looks like because you've done yeah. it. So what have the first, uh, I guess, roughly three months uh, look like as head coach of William Penn softball team? Yeah, so I operate in threes, and so I try to kind of um, prioritize some stuff. Um, and so first was just to get to know my current team right. um, and the incoming girls um, because like I said those relationships are important um, and change is hard um, and, and it can be scary so just trying to give them some um, you know a summer of you know easing their minds about the change so getting to know them and communicating with them about things that are happening um, and then connecting with the incoming girls um, so that was my main priority. Um, and then um, obviously just getting to know the department and the school and all the onboarding and, and everything and connecting with um, you know other coaches and networking and stuff. So, um, and then building my staff, um, sure. getting um, my GAs and assistant in, in place um, because we wanna build this program and um, you know have a, a really solid culture. And so um, having good people around you is, is important. So that's kind of what we've been doing um, in June and July and August and um, and then all the you know all the other fun administrative stuff scheduling right. and you know ordering gear and um, you know updating our look a little bit with new uniforms right. and um, you know our new gear and everything so um, yeah that's kind of what's been happening this summer right, cool and then I guess recruiting you know that never yeah, stops so yeah. <laughs> that's it's always never, never yeah, that, right. that's, that's always part of it so yeah, for sure locking down continuing. everybody that had been you know, on the list and maybe adding to it good yeah right. just continuing that I mean we were doing it at Upper Iowa so just kind of continuing that yeah. that recruiting process yeah for sure all right uh, let's talk about um, talk about recruiting um, mm -hmm. you know I had said off camera Kind of give me the, your recruiting pitch, your elevator pitch. You know, what what are you looking for in a, a William Penn softball player? Um, well, I'm going to focus on the areas that I know, which is Iowa in the Midwest. Um, I One of my main goals is to build our fan base mm -hmm. here and, and to um, create a good um, home uh, game day experience. Right. And so um, part of that is getting more Iowa kids on our roster and um, so that their families can come watch. And um, so I'm going to hit that hard. That's what I was doing about every night this summer. I was right. watching my sons play baseball and right next door I was watching softball. So um, got to watch, watch a lot of softball this summer and then, um, you know, going to tournaments on the weekend and, you know, spending the week at Iowa State Tournament, which is the best recruiting um, tournament in the whole country, in my opinion. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I want kids that want to be a part of this program and um, kind of see what what changes we're making and, and the excitement that's happening around William Penn. Um, and I want them to be proud to be here. Um, but we want kids that um, are going to have high expectations of themselves um, and be proud to wear, the, um, you know, the William Penn softball gear. Um, we're not looking for anything particular on um, – you know, positions or anything, right. we'll fill in where we where we sure. can. Um, but we want, you know, proud kids that obviously can play softball. And um, but um, I think I kind of had a common question is when I go to tournaments, I had a parent ask me, what what do you look for? You know, when you're out here, what are you looking for? And sure. so a lot of times recruiting is boring. Like I get bored watching games. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking for that kid that um, doesn't make me bored when I'm watching games that, right. um, you know, they sprint on and off the field and they are excited for their teammates and they get excited about the little things in softball, um, you know, mm -hmm. and they're, they're pumping their fist and they're talking and, um, you know, and obviously have some, um, some really good skills when it comes to playing softball, right. but um, that solid um, leader and team player, um, but also brings a lot of fire to their yeah. game. Yeah. So. Um, along with that, and more or less, you've kind of already answered this, but you're, 
coaching philosophy? I mean, what's it look like um, in regards to how are you going to run the program? Um, well, we're going to have really high standards and expectations. Um, you know, I think that I've watched a lot of the games um, from last year and, like I said, been around. And I think there's a lot of things that we can do to raise the standard just by doing the little things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having expectations um, that will carry over into games and, and, you know, doing a lot of the little things right. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be major changes. Changes. You know, we don't have to, you know, go out and get, you know, All-Americans and transfers and stuff like that. Just really taking care of the little things um, and, and have those expectations on a lot of little details, I think, can help um, us get some more wins. Right. Um, so I'm a real stickler on details um, and the little things, and I think the big things then will come. Um, but we want we want William Penn softball to be um, exciting to watch. We want it to be fast paced right. um, and just a fun environment to watch. Um, when it's fun and fast paced, and um, and also hit the hit the home runs, um, you know, then it, it's fun to play when you when you have that. So. We're going to steal a lot of bases um, at Upper Iowa last year. Um, you know, the year before I got there, the team total um, for stolen bases was 35, and we had our leadoff batter had uh, 45 her herself. So we're <laughs> <Run. laughs> we had over 100 yeah. stolen bases. Um, you know, basically with the same same kids. Sure. So um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take some risks, but we're gonna have a lot of rewards from those risks. But sure. um, we're gonna get thrown out. We're gonna make mistakes, right. um, but we're going to take those risks and, and hopefully it pays off, but we got to build a lot of confidence in those risks. Um, and, uh, so we're hoping it can be exciting fun softball for everybody to watch. Yeah. Sounds like it. All right. Um, Nick, mm -hmm. just hearing coach talk a little bit, obviously you've had a lot of these conversations, mm -hmm. um, as well, but, um, you know, how does this, uh, excite you as, uh, the, the AD and, and everything, yeah. just how she fits into the, the William Penn picture. Yeah. I, I mean, think it, Wade, you've been around a long time and yeah. I've been around a long time too. Um, I mean, this is evolution. It's not revolution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think in anything that we've done, uh, as we look to, you know, take our department to the next level, it's, it's really, really tipping our hat and appreciating the past, but also looking to where the future, like this is all, anytime you have a situation like this, it's a great opportunity to have a fresh start. Yep. And, um, you know, it's exciting to hear some of these things. Um, it was exciting to us in the interview process, um, you know, as a, played baseball growing up I'm a little smaller and I like to run a lot because uh you know I can connect the ball very far so I like running too so <laughs> that's exciting too that's the first time I heard that part so that's really exciting as well but I think you I mean think about where we're at as a department um you, you, you and I collaborate back and forth on some of these details and uh you know we have this mentality we want to win at everything yep. okay sure. um we want to win in the classroom so there was a time here at William Penn where we may have only had one scholar team right we had 16 teams over 3.0 GPA this last year yep. um you know, we want to win in the community. There was a time here where we were giving maybe 500 hours of community service. Uh, the last two years, we've given over 2,000 hours. So we want to, we want to win in the community, right? Um, and then we want to let. And I've, I'm with her 100% on this. Like all these little details make sense. So all these little things that we do are going to lead to better results. And as those two things have continued to increase our performance in the classroom and what we've done in the community, we've gotten better too. So right. in the Learfield Sports Directors Cup, the last two years we've had more points than we've ever had before. There was at one point in last year that we were in the top 25 of the standings in our division. And, you know, out of 230 to 250 schools in the country, you know, that's a top 25 athletic program, so or athletic department. So we want people that, like, have that type of, like, DNA, have that type of push, have that type of desire, have that type of want. And honestly, like, that's being wired a little differently. And we yeah. want people that are wired that way. Um, and I feel like with Coach North, a part of what we're doing here um, as we continue to evolve just fits right into our mentality. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you as an administrator understand this, but like part of the challenge in administration is you want to get, you know, 25 sports operating under one umbrella right. um, with each of their own individuality. Well, that's important. Like that's a culture thing. That's why the brother sister program with teams is important. And giving back, those are all important. Yeah. All those little things. And I feel like this, you know, again, we have some a lot of positive momentum and the way that she thinks as a coach and as a leader and just as a human being really fits right back, right back into that, that big yeah. picture. And so it's exciting to me and not, not, I mean, I'm excited what she's saying here today um, and I love watching games and all that, but uh, I think what you see in the bench and what you see in the hallway and what you uh, see in the classroom will continue to be elevated. Um, and it was in a good place before from some of those things. I mean, it's yep. a scholar team right now, mm -hmm. um, and the team volunteered a ton last year. And so it's not revolutionizing things. It's the evolution mm -hmm. of taking it to that yep. next step. And so I, I'm just excited about that, embracing the past and looking to 
the future on, on what it can be. So for sure. All right. One final uh, question. We talked about the, the past. You know what you've been doing, but let's look to the the future. What is uh, what's the fall look like for you guys? Um, you know what are you trying to accomplish? And you know I guess maybe push that all the way into the spring, your first year. Um, so we've set up um, four dates in the fall that we'll play. Um, we'll start practice on um, after Labor Day um, and get right at it. And then we've got four dates in this fall that we're going to um, play some games, um, three junior college um, dates, and then um, we're going to play Simpson at home. So just kind of throw them out there, see what they can do. Sure. Um, and I, I think our fall um, season is going to be focused on getting stronger, um, you know, getting quicker, getting in shape. Um you know, I, I encourage when I met with the team before they left, I encourage them to take some time off because, you know, the spring season is a grind. So yeah. um, taking some time off physically and mentally and getting away from away from softball and taking a break is, is just as important. So um, but I know that they've been working out and, um, you know, easing back into it. So just, you know, getting together and um, and sort of learning the new culture and the sure. new expectations. Yeah. It's like I said, change is hard. And so. Um, but I think they're going to be excited. It's going to be fun. Um, and so we're going to work really hard and just learn the new system. Um, you know, I do a lot of dynamic defenses. And, um, you know, like I said, the offense is going to be um, fast and furious. So they'll have to make some adjustments there and, and really teach. Um, you know, we work on base running every day. So we'll have to hammer that um, this fall, um, you know, and, and then, you know, going into winter workouts, just again, continuing that strength and conditioning. Right. Um, um, and then, you know, individual workouts um, so that individually the girls can um, just get a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, softball is, is, is a puzzle and trying to put, um, you know, the pieces together is, um, is really important so that we can have success. And, you know, the great thing about softball is, you know, you, you can hit the ball a long way and, and find a place on the team. You can right. be really fast and find your way on the field. Um, you can throw the ball underhand and find your way on the field. Um, yep. Um, you can be really fast or really slow, but you know there 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 can be a place for you. So mm -hmm. trying to fit those puzzle pieces together as best we can, and um, and just sort of ele elevating their um, their mental game so that they understand that there is a place for them and that there's opportunity for them to play, um, and and just really build on their confidence so that you know softball is a game of failure, and so we're going to try to um, give them a toolbox full of of tools that they can overcome that that failure mentality and right. and uh, um, have success during the season um, that's not defined by um, you know stat sheets or um, the win-loss co category as much as I love to win yeah. um, you know we don't want that to define us and so we'll spend a lot of time on um, the mental side of, of their game but also their approach to life and sure. school and and college and that adjustment that all <laughs> all college students are going yeah. through so um, we're gonna we're gonna really work on on that and you know when they're in a good place um, themselves mentally it, it leads to a lot of trust and a lot of um, um, happiness and joy and so we want that when we get into our spring season so that they have the freedom to just go out and play softball and have fun and and uh, when they when they can play with freedom and and have fun doing that then um, it's a whole lot easier to win games sure. um, so that's kind of what we're going to focus our fall and winter workouts on. And, um, you know, when we get back from uh, winter break, I think we have only three weeks of practice and then we start our first game. So we have to accomplish a lot this fall um, and this winter so that when we get back um, in January that we can kind of just right. take off and get ready to play games. Sure. Definitely. All right. Nick, anything else you want yeah, to add? Uh, one other thing I wanted to add is that, you know, we have the most when it comes to uh, gender equity in our staff. We have this is the the most gender equity equity we've had in our history as far yeah, as head coaches yeah, in the sure. program, and I think I don't want everyone to look like you and me, <laughs> you know. I don't uh, want anybody to look yeah. like me. <laughs> I'm having yeah. my kids all look like me. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's really good to have people just with all different backgrounds, whether you know, and and I think that's important. And we've got a lot of young uh, head coaches, um, male and female, but. I think one of the things I really enjoyed about Coach North and the interview process is she valued her family, yep. and is is you know someone who, you know, has you know young ones that are now in high school and middle school. Almost. Holy cow, getting there. <laughs> too too close. Yeah, yeah, and as someone who has you know two little ones, um, I think, I, I think people believe in this world that you can't do all that, 
and being college athletics right. and and I think with our dynamic on within our department we believe you can mm -hmm. and um, I think that the those uh, women in on that softball team will be able to look to coach North as an example and our and our staff um, as well can look to coach North an example someone that this is you can do these things like you can have career aspirations you can be uh, want to be the best and what can you can also still be a great parent right. and mm -hmm. um, and I think we need more of that in our industry. And that was something when or very early on, it was the first 10 minutes of the conversation. I was just like, okay. And it's probably more real to me because now I have kids, mm -hmm. right? Um, but uh, I think it's just a great example. And so when we had that first team meeting with, um, with the, the softball players before they left and they were locked in um, to some of what she was talking about as far as culture, really a culture of connectivity and things that we're really trying to do within our department as well. And um, it was really cool to watch that room and just see how some of the exercises they went through in that that brief uh, hour-long meeting It was it was pretty cool um, And uh, I think it, it's gonna be not only is an attractive place to be here now with all the momentum that we have and things We shared about before but in particular this program It's an attractive place to be because you know you have a, a history of success, but then you also have um, a vision going forward fresh and um, that, that is really in line with the connection culture of, of really what people want in college athletics today um, and so there was another, there's, there's multiple, uh, multiple different ways that, you know, someone can bring in and enhance a department. And when we go through and we look for, through hirings, like we don't want everyone to be the same way. Um, and, and that's certain because we're building a team as well. Yep, yep. And, um, and coach North certainly fits into that, um, dynamic that we're looking for. So there we go. awesome. Okay. Well, thank you, coach. Thank you, Nick. Uh, once again, Laura North, our new, uh, softball coach here, William Penn. We're excited to, uh, see the progression as we're, as we're moving forward, but Really excited to finally introduce you to Statesman Nation. So, and you can see a lot more of her on coaches' shows coming up yes. once we have her and all that. So, <laughs> yes, this will be for the sure. Yeah, yep. all the coaches' shows and all of that. So, yeah. all right, statesmanathletics.com on Facebook and Twitter, and I think we even have TikTok now. So, all download sorts the apps. Of, yes, download <laughs> all the apps yeah. for sure. So, thanks you. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, go Statesman. <laughs>